News 18. Weather from where you live. All right, with the sunrise at 752 tomorrow morning, getting ever closer to that 8 a.m. rise as the days continue to shorten. The thing is, you know, the days are shortening. It's only getting warmer for the next few days. 51 for the low tonight. Very light south southeast wind, but that wind starts to pick up later on tonight. And tomorrow's going to be a windy, very warm day with the big upper ridge taking over. You can see the clouds going up and around that ridge. But as the core of it works eastward, this hurricane to the south will be steered towards the U.S. Now we've got the big ridge here due to the big storm out here in the Pacific that's going to really rake Washington and Oregon parts of California here soon. There is Hurricane Delta. Here is the predecessor rain event or the PRE as we call it. A heavy rainfall event that occurs ahead of the main storm. You can see the infrared satellite imagery here. The whites and the grays beginning to wrap around the eye here and the eye is uh, you know, it's kind of going back and forth. It's kind of cyclical right now on how large it looks, but the thinking is it will really increase in diameter tonight. It's undergoing pretty rapid intensification right now. Now the winds are up to 120 miles an hour. It's going to become a major hurricane again very soon. It's going to rake uh, areas mainly around Lake Charles. That's really the epicenter, just east of Lake Charles. Then move up through central Tennessee, central Kentucky keeping a lot of the heavier rain southeast of our area. There it is moving to the northeast. We get a few clouds increasing from it. A few high clouds tomorrow, but more in the way of cloudiness Saturday. Here we are Sunday morning. Heavy rains southern Indiana by 10 o'clock in the morning. It's south of I-70. We may pick up a few isolated showers in the afternoon and evening, but you notice much of the more widespread rainfall just southeast of our area. It's pretty much Indy and Anderson and point southeastward. And then we watch a few showers and storms along this cold front that comes in late Monday. In addition, got some smoke that's going to come in too. Watch this, this wall of red and orange right there. Here's the viewing area. This is smoke that'll begin to spill in tomorrow, especially in our northern counties. It's all from fires out west. Tonight, 44 at Logansport and Winnemac to 51 Lafayette, 52 at Covington. Tomorrow, 85, windy, smoky haze, sunshine, a few high clouds, winds gusting more than 30 miles an hour within 3 degrees of time. The record at Greater Lafayette of 88, we're forecasting 85, but 89 at Covington, 84 Monticello, 85 Florin with very low humidity and all that wind around in the drought. I have Pretty high brush and field fire danger. Hazy clouds increasing on Saturday, 82 and breezy after a warm morning low of 62 with high 78 to 83 on Saturday. In terms of severe weather, next week, here comes the front. This is Sunday. There could be a little tongue of marginal to slight risk of severe from Minnesota to Oklahoma. This works eastward, but it weakens. If anything, just a, an isolated severe storm. As just a very broken line of a few showers and storms pass through along the cold front late Monday. 70 forecast, 79 on Sunday, 80 Monday, not bad Tuesday and Wednesday, 70s to near 80, then turning cooler Thursday. All right, Chad, thanks so much.